There is something very appealing to me about holding a piece of history in my hands. Hi everyone, GD here. I'm glad you could all join me today. Well, today I want to discuss the 1826 cap bust half dollar. This is a beautiful coin and next to the Morgan dollar, this is probably one of my favorite design US coins. Now I should qualify that. I really do love the first couple of years of American US coins, but most of those are out of the reach of the average investor for a coin that is in a really nice condition, whereas this one here is in great condition. This one here was uh, created by, the design was created by John Reich, and uh, this design of the cap bust ran from the years 1807 all the way up to 1839. Now in 1836 they did make a changeover. They did produce them this way but they also produced them with a reeded edge. This particular one has a lettered edge on it and these with the lettered edge ran from 1807 to 1836. One of the things that really attract me about these early coins, and I've mentioned that with other coins that I've shown before, is thinking about where this coin was over all these years. And, I mean, we are talking a coin that is coming up very close to being 200 years old. This particular one has some beautiful toning around the stars here on this side with a pretty white coin on the reverse. The reverse shows the eagle with the uh, shield on its chest and he is holding in his claws an olive branch and a set of arrows. And there was reasoning behind some of these designs. Um, this particular one with the olive branch and the arrows is an indication that uh, we are in a time of peace, but always ready for war. And the eagle's head facing to the left was a connotation that we were in a time of peace. This says United States of America across the top and in pluribus unum right above the eagle's head in the ribbon. And um, outside of the eagle that was used on the earliest coinage, I've got to say this one here is probably one of my all-time favorites on U.S. coins. On the obverse, we have the bust of liberty with, uh, with uh, stars around her in 1826. This particular coin is about an AU, might be just touching on an MS, but I believe it's an AU grade that we have here. But again, one of the things I love about old coins is thinking about where this coin has been over all these years. So I love doing a little bit of research on what was going on at those times. Now there wasn't a great deal of stuff going on in 1826, but I did manage to find a few interesting facts. First of all, the average pay for a woman working in a clothing mill in 1826 was 25 to 30 cents a day, with some making as much as 50 cents a day in the big mills. Now think about that, folks. It would take them up to two days to earn one of these coins back then. That is pretty amazing when you think about it. In the Midwest, farm workers were earning about 8 to $12 a, month, or a week, with board included. Some of the important things that took place in 1826. On April 1st, 1826, Samuel Morey patented the first internal combustion engine. That's pretty amazing when we think about it. Uh, the time of the automobile really took place near the turn of the 20th century and onward, but the internal combustion engine was created many years before that. On December 21st, 1826, a group of Texas settlers made the first attempt to secure 
to secure or succeed from Mexico. Well, we all know where that led to. And uh, Texas wound up becoming its own country for a short period of time and then joined the United States. The population of the United States in 1826 was 9,638,453 people. That's pretty amazing when you think about the size of the population we have today. Only 9 million people were living in this country. And 23 states we had at that time. But probably one of the most important things to have happened in 1826, which I find really fascinating, um, in 1826, Thomas Jefferson was having a hard financial time. He had been spending a tremendous amount of money over the years entertaining important people at his estate. And um, it had brought him to the brink of bankruptcy. And hearing about this, the public started sending him money to help save him. But it wasn't a long time after that, and he was very um, appreciative of how he was respected and loved and um, supported in this way. But it wasn't long after, probably one of the most amazing things in U.S. history happened. On July 4th, 1826, just 50 years after the signing of the Declaration of Independence, both Thomas Jefferson and John Adams both passed away within hours of each other. That I find to be a very fascinating piece of U.S. history. Two of the most important people of the founding of our country both passed away on such a historic day, 50 years after the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Okay, folks, I just wanted to share another coin from my collection with you folks and one that I love owning. Again, I love the design on this coin. That eagle I could just look at all day long. And there is very, very slight toning on the reverse around the rim here, but there is so much nicer toning. And I don't know how well that shows up there on the camera, but it's got kind of an orangey red toning that runs through the stars, which I think is pretty amazing. Okay, folks, again, one of my favorite designs next to the Morgan dollar. There's one that I'm always happy to find, especially in nice condition like this. Well, I just wanted to share that with you folks. I hope you're all doing well today. And I look forward to hearing what you folks are all doing now as far as collecting or stacking. I hope you're all doing well. Stay safe out there. This is GD, and until next time, take care.